Every few decades, a new language claims it can do what C does, but better, most fade, a few endure. Zig feels different. It is not trying to be C++ or Rust. It aims to modernize the C experience itself, one of the hardest thrones to take. So let's look past the hype and measure what Zig brings and what still makes C stubbornly hard to dethrone. C is more than a language. It is bedrock, operating systems, drivers, embedded firmware, performance critical libraries. Somewhere deep inside there is C. It is portable and simple enough that you can reason about what the machine will do for every line you write. Yeah, that clarity is why C has lasted for half a century, along with the ghosts it drags along, manual memory management, undefined behavior, and build systems that often feel archaeological. Zig steps into that space. At first glance, Zig looks familiar. Braces, pointers, structs, a main function. But the philosophy is sharper. Precision without hidden magic. Started by Andrew Kelly, Zig's design goal is control with predictability. Optimizable code paths you can actually trace. There's no garbage collector, just like C. But instead of shrugging at foot guns, Zig gives you tools to avoid them. We'll talk about that memory management in a bit. You can even run code at compile time with comp time, a simple, powerful way to generate code without a preprocessor or macro system. Here's an example of a very simple Zig program. It adds together two variables and prints those out in a clean formatted print statement. All you really have to import is that STD statement, just like in C. There is no crazy framework or complex system of dependencies you have to explicitly deal with. Clean, explicit, and close enough to the metal that you can predict what the compiler will do. Zig rejects hidden control flow, no exceptions, no macros, no preprocessor, errors or values, not traps. You propagate or handle them explicitly with try, and function types can encode that an error may occur. Take this code here. This code is trying to read a file using the zig open file function and the read to end allocate method. If you fail, say, trying to open that file that does not exist, guess what? You get an error. If a file operation fails, the compiler asks you to face that fact. No swallowed return codes, no silent nulls pretending everything is fine. You see the path your program takes and you decide how failures unwind. So, let's talk about memory safety. Zig does not have a garbage collector, which helps with performance, as we'll discuss soon enough. Instead, it mimics its spiritual ancestor, C, in that memory management is manual, but with a great middle ground between Rust's scoping and C's potential for memory leaks. Instead, you use allocators, which makes memory management an explicit exercise you have to think about and track. There are many different flavors of allocators in Zig that allow you to manage the memory in the way you want. It may be a lot to handle if you come from outside the C world, but it elucidates memory responsibility that exists in every low-level language so that it doesn't bite you in the back end later. It sounds great and very C-like, yes, but how about that Godzilla-sized elephant in the room that gets talked about performance? Zig targets the same tier as C predictable, low-level performance with manual control. Under the hood, the Zig toolchain uses LLVM and produces highly optimized machine code. Because the language forbids hidden work and undefined behavior by design choices and safety checks, you get a clearer model for performance tuning. The result in practice, performance that is comparable to C, for many workloads, while being easier to audit for pitfalls like accidental allocations or surprise control flow. And the tooling matters. Zig ships a unified tool that can compile Zig and C called Zig CC. That means you can build existing C code and you can cross compile with a single installation. A relief if you have wrestled with shell scripts, SDK hunts, and bespoke cross tool chains. To anyone who has lived inside, make uh, plus a matrix of 
compilers, this feels like taking a deep breath. If you are thinking, uh, so Zig just modernizes C, that is part of it, but the bigger shift is the build story. Zig's builds are code. The build.zig file lets you describe your pipeline programmatically, want different flags per target, generate artifacts, integrate tiny tooling specific to your project. You do that in Zig, uh, not in an external DSL, not in pages of XML, not in a pile of shell glue, less ceremony, fewer places uh, for truth to drift, more leverage from one language across your whole workflow. Of course, Zig's package management system isn't always that simple either. While you do right out of the box have something that allows you to pull libraries and packages pretty much from anywhere that's compatible with Zig, especially with Zon Zig object notation, it's a manual exercise that is still not a cargo-like package management system that you might like it to be. Now, the uncomfortable reality check, C is not going anywhere. It is the lingua franca of the low level, with decades of compilers, libraries, and institutional knowledge, if you are maintaining kernels, drivers, or legacy libraries with tight constraints, C remains the default for good reasons. Zig is still young. Its standard library and package ecosystem are maturing. The community is growing fast, but it is nowhere near the size of C's or even Rust's. This matters when you need battle-tested libraries or niche platform support. So what makes Zig compelling right now? Concrete production proofs. The Bun JavaScript runtime is written in Zig. The Tiger Beetle financial database is written in Zig. These are serious, performance-sensitive projects that chose Zig for its mix of control, simplicity, and build ergonomics. Why do we crave a C replacement at all? Because modern software wants two things at once, safety and simplicity. Rust provides powerful safety guarantees with a learning curve built around lifetimes and borrowing. C provides a minimal model with sharp edges. Zig positions itself between them. Explicit control, like C, fewer surprises, and simple patterns for errors, resources, and metaprogramming. You do not get magic, you get clarity. That is often what systems work really needs. Here is the perspective that matters. Zig does not need to replace C to succeed. It only needs to coexist and win the projects where its strengths shine. Modern build pipelines, cross-platform delivery, minimal hidden behavior, compile time metaprogramming without a preprocessor. That is not an attack on C. It is a continuation of its original spirit with guardrails added. Familiar where it helps, uh, different where it counts. So, if you really like your C code, you can keep your C code, but don't be afraid to look at Zig as an interesting and exciting complement. So, here is a way to sum up Zig versus C. C built the world. Zig wants to rebuild pieces of it with fewer sharp edges and better tooling. So, what do you think? Do you think Zig and C can be peaceful, coexistent neighbors? Or should there be an all-out holy war on Zig or C? Leave your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more language deep dives from the Techie Shop. If you like this video, watch this video here for more Tech Talk.